Hey guys, it's Jimmy back again with a quick helpful tip video. This time we're going to talk a little bit more about essential oils and we're going to talk a little bit about headaches. Um, I've gotten some uh, requests uh, to, to talk more specifically about headaches uh, and maybe some uh, things that we can do to uh, prevent our headaches or to decrease the inflammation that is causing the headaches. Um, please know that when you begin a juicing program, you begin to detoxify and you begin to alkalize the body and the blood. And when this occurs, uh, at the very beginning, you may uh, experience uh, some headaches because there are toxins that are naturally leaving your body. Uh, these toxins have been stored up oftentimes from years and years of eating foods that have not necessarily agreed with this. Uh, foods that contain toxins and poisons. All of our fast foods and all of this processed foods and all of this, all of the foods that we are putting in uh, microwaves and radiating inside plastic. The, these phthalates are toxins, okay? Plastic is toxic. Uh, it, plastic is petroleum. Uh, petroleum based and it, the, these are dirty these are messing with the phytoestrogen levels the hormone levels in both men and women and it's creating many many uh, issues uh, in the immune system and it's it's creating a lot of problems for a lot of people so you need to educate yourself on the on the harmful uh, plastic uh, because it really really is there's a lot of people consuming a lot of uh, a lot of stuff out of plastic and I'm telling you if you'll if you, if you really like a good pH water that comes in plastic I challenge you to have that uh, professionally tested to see what the pH of that water actually is because I can assure you that it is not going to be what they say it is on the bottle simply because the plastic is dirty and what when I say dirty I mean that this is petroleum based and these are toxins uh, there is phthalates in this plastic that are destroying the content of whatever is inside this plastic. So anyway, let me move on from the plastic, but I just wanted to say that because this is this is directly contributing to a lot of the headaches that people are experiencing. Um, these toxins are contributing directly to uh, the inflammation and it's created, we're, we're getting all of these headaches. And I'm gonna give you some essential oil tips on some essential oils that you can use and I'm also going to show you uh, a, a reflexology uh, chart for the hand and the feet and show you some pulse points and some pressure points that you can hit so at various times during this video uh, you may want to pause it so that you can see what's on the screen I'm going to try to do it where you guys can see it uh, but I want to first start by telling you a little bit more about frankincense um, did you guys know that frankincense stimulates the limbic region of the brain? This is the center of memory and emotions and the hypothalamus, pineal, and the pituitary glands. Now the hypothalamus is the master gland of the human body. It produces many, many vital hormones including thyroid and growth hormone. And frankincense specifically targets this, okay? Uh, frankincense is very stimulating, it's very meditative, it's very invigorating, um, it is very uplifting, uh, it's good for depression, cancer, respiratory infections, inflammation, it's, a, it's an immunostimulant, it's anti-tumoral, it's muscle relaxing, uh, it has many, many properties. So refer back to my frankincense video, but, but uh, you know, if you, if you get a headache, you need to, at the onset of the headache, you need to put a drop of 100% pure, organic, therapeutic grade essential oil under your tongue. And this will, this will drastically reduce the side effects of the headaches. And then I want to, I want to talk next about uh, lavender. You know, lavender is so wonderful. Uh, it has so many amazing regenerating properties. Lavender is an antiseptic, it's an antifungal, it's an analgesic, it's anti-tumoral, it's an anti-convulsant, it's vasodilating, it's a relaxant, it's an anti-inflammatory, it reduces blood fat cholesterol levels, it combats excessive sebum on the skin, 
Um, it's used for respiratory infections, high blood pressure, arteriosclerosis, uh, menstrual issues or PMS issues, skin conditions. It's good for skin repair, acne, eczema, psoriasis, scarring, stretch marks, burns, hair loss, insomnia, nervous tension. I mean, for hair loss, you can apply frankincense directly on the scalp. Um, I like to apply uh, lavender, I'm sorry, I like to apply lavender, frankincense, and lang lang uh, directly on the scalp with either uh, a base of coconut oil or a sesame seed oil, and it's very, very stimulating and it's regenerating to the scalp, and you can apply that in the evening time before you go to bed, and these essential oils, I mean, if you blend the right ones together, they're going to work synergistically to benefit uh, the healing that can take place when you learn to use these divine essential oils. Uh, But lavender is very, very good for headaches, and that's the reason I'm talking about it now, because this video is going to be about headaches, uh, because lavender is very calming, and it's relaxing, and it's very, very balancing. University researchers in Japan found that diffusing certain aromas in an office environment dramatically improved mental accuracy and concentration. Diffused lemon resulted in 54% fewer errors, jasmine 33% fewer errors, and lavender 20% fewer errors. When aromas were diffused during test taking, scores increased by as much as 50%. Has been documented to improve concentration and mental acuity. The University of Miami researchers found that inhalation of lavender oil increases the beta waves in the brain, suggesting heightened states of relaxation. It also reduced depression and improved cognitive performance. The university study also found that lavender reduces mental stress and it increases alertness. Now, these are factual studies. This is factual information that I'm reading you. And lavender is very, very good uh, for your mood. It's it's an antidepressant. It's an immune stimulant. uh, And it's very, very regenerating to the skin. So we all need to be using lavender as much as possible. Uh, But now I'm going to go over some essential oils specifically that are good for headaches. Um, This is the basic blend uh, for just your regular uh, typical headache that we get, these tension headaches that we get, and that is clove, copaiba, eucalyptus, eucalyptus blue, dorado azul, German chamomile, lavender, myrrh, peppermint, Roman chamomile, rosemary, spearmint, valerian, and wintergreen. Okay, now if you've got a sinus headache, I'm going to I'm going to list some specific ones specifically for the sinus headaches that people are suffering from, and that is Dorado Azul, Eucalyptus Blue, Eucalyptus, Geranium, Lavender, Peppermint, and Rosemary. Now I'm going to list some specifically for migraines because a lot of people are having these really bad migraines. Uh, where they're affected by light and noise, and this is very, very painful to people. And you can use basil, copaiba, eucalyptus, German chamomile, helichrysum, lavender, marjoram, peppermint, rosemary, and wintergreen. Um, my favorite blend that I like to use, uh, that I that I put in my roll-on applicator, uh, you always want to use a dark bottle, and it needs to be glass. Um, but, you know, you can buy these at your local health food store fairly inexpensively. And then you could just formulate your own essential oil mixes. And I like to have three or four of these with various different things in them. And I usually carry these in my pocket. And if somebody's suffering from a headache or whatnot and needs a little boost, um, I've got a blend specifically for maybe what ails them. Um, and they're, it's, they're very wonderful just to have on your, on your person. Uh, but in this particular one, I have eucalyptus, peppermint, frankincense and myrrh and that is a powerful combination uh, for headaches and it's also very invigorating and it's very stimulating I have another one with uh, basically the same blend but with lavender in it Um, but you know just formulate experiment some with essential oils and formulate uh, a couple that are are, are really good for your specific needs and your specific headaches Um, you know because what may work for me or somebody else may not work for everybody 
study. So experiment with some of these oils that I listed off and, and combine some of them together and figure out which ones targets your headache specifically. You know, this one works for my tension headache, this one works for my migraine, this one works for, you know, various other things uh, that we've got going on. Uh, in the body, um, but you know it, it they 're going to be beneficial if you use them i 'm telling you you 've got to start diffusing essential oils and you 've got to start applying essential oils. Um, the blend that I like to apply uh, for regenerative properties on the skin is frankincense, myrrh, and lavender and there 's nothing quite like it. I mean it is very, very regenerative. Uh, lavender is uh, so regenerative uh, it increases the cellular turnover. Um, so we're talking about sloughing off the dead skin layers uh, and uh, just completely help to regenerate the skin. Um, so I like to apply that every evening before I go to bed. But, you know, you can apply essential oils on your chest before you sleep and they help with depression. And an example of that would be I like to apply Roman chamomile on my chest before I sleep and I also apply it on my pulse points on my wrist and then I put a little drop behind my ears. and when you when you learn to experiment some with the aromatherapy qualities of the essential oils then uh, you really really begin to b benefit from these so you know when you when you're applying it in various pulse points in your body where the blood flow is circulating um, it's when it heats up it's going to just invigorate in all the senses uh, and this is aromatherapy that I'm talking about so just experiment with with some of these divine oils and figure out a blend that's good for you. Now, for uh, I'm going to show you this little card now, and hopefully you guys can see it, and you might want to pause it, but this is a good reflexology card that I wanted to, to share with everybody. And if you notice at the top, we've got the sinus, head, brain area, um, notice along the fatty part of the hand what we've got going on there. That's the, the kidney, the pancreas, the adrenal, the thyroid, the cervical, and then all the way up to the thumb, we've got the brain and the pituitary, okay? So when we're, when we have a headache, this is the area that we want to massage. We want to massage all through this area right here. Um, and if you, if you need that back and forth with all of your fingers, uh, then there's really some healing that takes place in the body. Uh, now I'm going to show you the foot. Um, if you notice at the very top, we have sinus, head, brain area. Look at the tip of the big toe, okay? This, the big toe is really what we want to focus on when we have a headache. And all of the tips of the toes, actually. All of the toes. Um, but anyway, if you need to pause this and study this, I just wanted to put this up so that people could see this because a lot of times people don't have access to this information. And so I just wanted to include it. But I'm going to give you a little tip on um, on the uh, massage uh on the kneading of the hands when you have a when you have a headache you put you put your oils uh, right through here right through this area right here with your roll-on applicator after you formulated a blend that works well for you and you just knead your hand uh, you knead it uh, just back and forth just just knead it back and forth back and forth and you're working all the way up to the tips of the uh, thumb and focus right on the center part of uh, the thumb. Focus right on this center part right here and then focus on the very tip and do one hand and then do your other hand um, and, and do it the, you know the, uh, the same amount of time and as you're doing this you are d doing some deep breathing exercises. You are breathing in uh, very deeply and you are breathing out and when you're when you're breathing you're telling yourself that these essential oils are healing because they really are. Um, you are breathing in love and divine healing energies with the energy with these essential oils. And you are breathing out toxins. You are breathing out negativity. You are bring, breathing out worry, fear, doubt. All of these are going to leave your body and you are telling yourself this. And this is going to help your headache a tremendous amount when you do this. And just know that these essential oils will be healing and they will be beneficial if you do this. And then you can take that hand and you can massage the top part of your neck 
really, really good. Then you can take the same hand. If you need to apply a few more drops of oil, that's great. You can, and then you can take your hand and, and massage your temples. Massage your temples very, very thoroughly. Um, you can massage if you've got a sinus headache. You can massage uh, underneath the the eye socket. Uh, of course, don't get any of these oils in your eye. You know, have some organic uh, eye drops close by in case you do, but try not to get any of it in your eye. But massage the the sinus pressure points there beside the nose, underneath the eye. I massage up through the uh, eyebrow area and on the forehead and all around the eye. Um, and then you can also apply some essential oils um, behind your earlobes uh, and on your chest. And this is these oils are going to work synergistically uh, placed in various parts of our body for increased aromatherapy benefits. And this is really going to help your headache, guys. I'm telling you, if you suffer from headaches and you will do these techniques and you will use these divine healing oils, this really will work. Anyway, this video is a little longer than I want it to be, but it's got good information in it. If you suffer from a headache, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's all get our juice on because I'm telling you, if you guys will start juicing, you are not going to be suffering from these headaches anymore. Uh, you know, I, I never have headaches. Um, and it's because the, the, the blood and the body is clean. And when you begin to juice, you begin to detoxify and eliminate all of these toxins that are causing all of this headaches. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Peace, love, and positive vibration. Get your juice on.